SoFi is on a tear. So what a better way than to implement a strategy to print you money every single month to take advantage of volatility. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can run the wheel strategy on SoFi to make 300, 500, 1000, even $5,000 a month, depending on your portfolio size. So stick around because this one is going to be a good one. Hey guys, Corey here. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe and tap the bell so you don't miss awesome content just like this. And of course, give me a thumbs up as it greatly helps the channel grow. Now, I'm really excited to bring you guys the wheel strategy on SoFi. But first, I want to let you guys know that this Sunday, July 21st, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. noon Eastern time is my free webinar. That's right, guys. Absolutely free. So you guys don't want to miss it. The link is in the information information box below. I'm going to cover technicals, fundamentals, teach you guys how to enter a stock, which stocks to pick, how to get them at a discount, and how to get in collecting cash along the way. If this interests you and excites you, does it? High five. High five. Does it excite you too? High five. Then I'll see you there. This Sunday, July 21st, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. noon Eastern time, free webinar. There's also a very important announcement, so you guys definitely don't want to miss that. I will see you guys there. The wheel strategy is very powerful and if you implement it on the correct stocks at the right time it can be a money printing machine so let me show you guys how you can implement the wheel strategy on sofi regardless of your portfolio size and start collecting juicy premiums on your favorite stocks like sofi so we're going to go ahead and look at the technical analysis here on sofi and we can see that there is a very big support right around seven dollars now it did drop below seven dollars for some time and found support around six 650. However, now it's back above. And anytime you see big engulfing candles like this right here, and you kind of see the stock price moving up, if it was to pull back, there would be support at 750 to 730. Then there would be even more support right around 675 to $7. So right now it's pretty safe to say that $7 is going to be the support going forward. We've broken out of this wedge, just like I said the stock would. And now that that has happened, we're going to go ahead and delete that line. And now we can see that SoFi is going to find a new support here between 675 and seven dollars meaning seven dollar puts are very safe 750 puts which are up around here are a little aggressive but somewhat safe if the stock price continues to go up however we're trying to enter the stock that's what we're trying to do so we're either a going to get in around seven dollars at some point in the future if sofi drops that low again or at 750 which is a lot more likely which is why we're going to sell seven dollar and fifty cent puts before we dive into sofi and show you guys how to run the wheel strategy it's really important that i explain to you guys how much i truly care about helping you guys achieve financial freedom get better in trading and make profits i had a really big part of my life where i struggled for several years and i was pretty much flat broke and i told myself when i achieved financial freedom that i would help as many people as i possibly could and i'm doing my best here on youtube to try to help as many people as i can but if you guys are looking to grow your portfolio and looking to advance your knowledge in the stock market whether it be technical analysis, options, dividends, doesn't matter. If you're looking to get better and you're struggling or you're just a beginner and don't even know where to even start, I would love to help you guys out, which is what I truly am passionate about is helping you guys achieve financial freedom. So if you guys are interested in a full training course, one-on-one -on -one coaching with me and a full discord where you guys can learn and surround yourself with like-minded people just like us, you guys can sign up at any time at investwithcory.com right there on the screen or in the information box below. I look forward to having the opportunity to help help you learn and grow your portfolio. Okay, guys, so here we are in SoFi. I'm going to click on sell put. We're going to go out one month for more juicy premium. We're going to sell the $7.50 put, and we're going to sell 60 of these at 50 cents, which gives us a juicy premium of $3,000, okay? So we're going to sell that put. Now, the delta on this put is 38, which is not incredibly high, but it's a little on the risky side, but we want the shares. Anything over 30 is a little risky, although if the volatility is below 60%, which it roughly, it's like a little bit above, but it's barely above. It's at 65. So it is above 60%, but it's not too bad. So 38 is not horrible. And because we want the stock, it's actually not a bad idea. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That's going to bring us $3,000 profit this month. Then once we get assigned the shares, we're going to go ahead and set up covered calls at 8 
$8 because if the stock price falls to $7.30 or $7.40, now we're going to be looking to get out at $8 and we're going to sell this covered call for one month, two months, even three months. So we're just going to go off of the fact that it might take two months, a month on the puts, we get assigned, then we sell the covered call a month out, then we get assigned on that. So overall, we say ideally it takes two months, but it could take three, four, or even five months. But as an average, we're collecting call and put credits every single month. Then we're making profit on the stock when we exit. So we collect $3,000 juicy premium. And if we don't get assigned the stock after the month, then we collected $3,000 juicy premium. We're going to do it again. If the stock price was to fall to $7 and say 60 cents, then we would go out again another month and sell $7 puts, collecting roughly the same premium, maybe a little bit less, going out another month. This way we can try to time the bottom. If the stock price stays above $7.50, then again, those $7 puts going out a month will pretty much expire worthless. Eventually, we will get assigned unless we play it super safe. $7.750 is fairly aggressive, more specifically the $7.50 put, but we really want the shares. Now, there is a chance we could do this multiple times in a row, several months, and the stock price never falls below $7.50, but that's okay because we're continuing to collect $3,000 a month juicy premium with no real risk except getting assigned the shares that we already wanted the shares, right? We wanted them. So it's not really a risk. Worst case scenario, we own the shares. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set that up. And then if we get assigned and the stock price, say, falls to $7.30, well, it's okay. We collected $50 premium per contract, meaning that our average share price, our break-even price is $7. So as long as the stock price stays above $7 when we get assigned, we are still in the profit. Then we could sell $8 covered calls or $7.50 covered calls. It doesn't matter. But in this situation, let's say we get assigned and the stock price falls to $7.30 or $7.40 or even $7.45, but we still get assigned. We are then going to go out one more month and sell covered calls at $8, which in this situation is a 49 delta. However, if the stock price is $7.40, there's a 60 cent move. So that would be the equivalent of selling, almost selling at $8.50. Not quite. It'd be somewhere in between. So it'd be safe to say it would be about 45 cents instead of 55 cents, maybe 48. So we're going to do 48 times 60. So we collected $3,000 juicy premium. A month later, we get assigned the stock prices, say $7.40. Then we're going to sell these covered calls, all 60 of them, collect another $2,880. Just for the sake of it, we'll put this at 50 cents to make it easy to understand and keep it even on a flat number, $3,000. We're going to collect $3,000 juicy premium. And then we're going to wait to get assigned. And if we get assigned, we keep that $3,000. Plus, we are going to collect $8 per share, which is 800 per 100 shares, which is the contract, which is 800 per 100 shares. So let's add this up. So we collect $3,000 on the puts plus $3,000 on the covered calls. $6,000 profit from the short positions. Now, we did get assigned on those 60 contracts, which is 60 times 100, 6,000 shares times $7.50 is $45,000. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to collect $8 times 6,000 shares, which is $48,000 minus $45,000 dollars leaves us with three thousand dollars profit plus the six thousand dollars we collected in the puts and the calls nine thousand dollars divided by two giving us a profit of forty five hundred dollars per month now if this was to go on let's say two extra months it took us two months to get assigned and then two months to get out instead of one month each let's say this takes four months total which is double the amount of time well then we add three thousand more dollars for puts roughly and three thousand more dollars for calls ten thousand five hundred divided by four we're still looking at at $2,500 to $3,000 a month. This is a very, very safe strategy because the chances of SoFi going below $750 now is quite unlikely. Now, in a month or two from now, it could drop to $7 or $675 again. But even if that was to happen on the $7.50 puts we sell, if the stock price was to fall to $675, we would just hammer out $7.50 calls for several months, which would again bring us in roughly $2,500 a month to $3,000 in covered calls. And we would just 
wait for the stock to recover. And even if it took seven months, it would just bring our average down to 2,500, 2,400. Again, we're still making $2,500 a month. The only way this strategy doesn't really work is if SoFi was to plummet to $5, but then we would just wait for a recovery. And another way to offset this in the wheel strategy is to also run puts. So while you're selling these puts, once you enter and you're selling covered calls, also hedge by selling more cash secured puts. So while we have these 60 contracts for sale and SoFi starts to move up to say 775, because remember we sold 750 puts when the stock price was at $7.75. It falls to 740. We get assigned. We sell $8 calls. And then when the stock price goes back above 750, while we're waiting for those $8 calls to be assigned, the closer it gets to $8, we just sell off another series of puts at $7.50. So if the stock price doesn't go up to $8 and we don't get assigned on those calls, we can sell them again. And the puts have a chance at expiring too. So we're hedging our position or you could just sell another 20 or 30 more puts at $7, even though the stock price is on the rise to $8. So while we are awaiting to be assigned on the $8 calls, we're collecting more juicy premium on $7 put, hedging our position with another $500 or $1,000 a month in juicy, juicy profits. But you guys can see how much potential is there to make money on the wheel strategy on SoFi. Now, if you're asking Corey, can we run this with a smaller portfolio? You sure can. If you have a $10,000 portfolio, let me show you exactly what you could do. So on a $10,000 portfolio, we would sell 20 contracts, which is about $14,000. We could sell these 20 contracts, bring in $1,000 juicy premium. Then we would go over here and sell those same contracts and collect another $1,000 juicy premium on 2,000 shares. What we would do here is we would calculate roughly 50 cents times 2,000 shares, $1,000. So that's $3,000 in two months, bringing in $1,500 a month juicy premium. So on a 10 to $14,000 portfolio over the course of two to three months, we can generate three or four or even $5,000 averaging 15 to $1,800 a month. This is a very powerful strategy for small, medium, or even large accounts. If you even have a smaller account than this, and let's say you have under $10,000, you can bring $500 to $1,000 a month in by selling the puts, then selling the covered calls to get out. If you also want to be less aggressive on the covered calls, you can sell $8.50 calls on 20 contracts, and we could sell them for about $0.36. Cents. This is roughly in the middle. This will get you $700 on a $14,000 account, but you're also going to make another $0.50 cents per share at 1,000 or 2,000 shares. So if we run it this way, we get in at $1,000, we get out at 720, but then we're also making 2,000 shares times a dollar, which gives us a $3,720 profit in only two months, $1,800 a month, almost 2K a month. So on a $10,000 portfolio, you can almost bring in $2,000 a month, between 15 and $2,000 a month. The wheel strategy is very powerful to implement into stocks that are of high quality. Leave your comment in the comment box below which stock you would like me to do a wheel strategy video on. So you guys can see how powerful running the wheel strategy is, especially when you implement it with technical analysis and a very good stock. You guys will be able to print juicy, juicy premiums, right guys? Juicy premiums every single month consistently running the wheel strategy on SoFi. And this right now is the time to implement this strategy is SoFi is on a tear. And with interest rates getting ready to be cut in just a few short months, there's a lot of profit running the wheel strategy on SoFi. Thanks so much guys for being here. Really appreciate you. Do not forget this Sunday, July 21st, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. noon Eastern time, my free, absolutely free webinar. Everybody is welcome. I hope to see you guys there. You guys are going to learn a plethora of information that's going to help you on your trading journey, like how to use technical analysis, how to pick the stocks in order to get in, how to get into those stocks and collect juicy premium and discounts while you're entering and how to make the most of your financial journey. I hope to see all of you there. You don't want to miss out. Big announcement on the July 21st webinar. I'll see you guys this Sunday, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon, 12 p.m. Eastern time. Remember, I will see all of you guys there. Don't miss out. If you guys could subscribe, tap the bell, give me a thumbs up as it greatly helps the channel grow. And I picked out another video just for you guys, and it's right here. Click it. You guys are going to love that video. I picked it just for you guys. I didn't know exactly what you guys want to see. And remember, until the next video and the webinar, let's grow our wealth together. Take care, guys. You're still here? Click the video.